Thomas the Tank Engine is owned by Mattel. No money is being made off this podcast. It's for entertainment and educational purposes only. Thank you. You might think it's easy, sitting around in a dark shed with nothing to do but stare at a shed door, but once you roll back into the real world, you start to notice things you never noticed before. With no one around, it's easy to notice ghosts floating around, and the only one by your side in that moment is Jesus Christ. And to be honest, he's all you really need. I'm Percy the Green Engine, and this is the Spectres of Sodor. Wait a minute. I'm trying to help Nikki, not bust her buffers. <clears throat> anyway, me and Satov and Matt were heading out towards the Vickerstown Bridge. Hopefully, we could get the message across to Nikki by rolling alongside her. But we'd have to wait and see. On the way, Sir Topham had noticed that I looked a little nervous. All right, Percy? I guess I am. You're nervous? I was trying to be brave, but something inside of me felt off. Yeah, a lot. Though I'm sure you're not scared considering you're the- Controller of the railway? You're right, but... Even controllers get scared sometimes. When I'm at home, I fear I'm going to fall off my bed by accident. I'm old, Percy. The fact that I can sit and walk is a miracle. My doctor tells me it's time to retire from running the railway. But I will never let go of this railway. I felt sorry for Sir Tottenham Hat and wanted to cheer him up. But, sir, you've done so much for us. I get it. Most steam engines aren't around anymore, so we're kind of hard to maintain, but you shouldn't have to feel like you have to take care of us forever. I know, Percy, but I can't find anyone who will take care of you as I did. Wow, that's dead de dead de uh, dedication. Do you mean dedication? Yeah, that's the word. And just remember, sir, there are good people in this world. I'm sure one day somebody will come along and... They'll be the perfect one to run the railway and take care of us. You've done a great job, but you shouldn't have to worry about us forever. I know. But if I do happen to stumble across the right person to take my place, I will accept my retirement. You don't need to have everything in this railway in your control, sir. God will make the right choice. I promise. And promises are something that I never break. When me and Sir Tom Matt finally reached the Vickerstown Bridge, it was very eerie. It looked as if it hadn't been repainted in a long time. I don't know why Sir Tom Matt decided to paint that bridge in purple. To think that's the first bridge that most people would see when they would come to the island of Soto by rail. Anyway, once we were parked on the bridge, all that was left to do was wait. As usual. Well sir, here we are at the drawbridge. I didn't take care of this bridge. Um, I don't have hands, so I can't hold a smartphone or a watch. Can someone tell me what time it is, please? My watch says it's 5.58. Maybe we started out too early. Nah, I can get up way earlier than this. I think I've gotten up at 3 a.m. before. Yep, he has. Even before he has steam up, he has the energy to puff away in minutes. He's like the wise old owl. But I don't have wings. Or legs, for that matter. <clears throat> Getting off topic. The ghost. What was her name? Nicholas Cage? Really, Zeon? You're way too obsessed with classic actors. At least I don't use water from rivers to clean my teeth. Wait. What? I know. He's crazy. No. Not that. Look! Wait. Is that a ship? No, Percy. That's a monster truck. Of course it's a ship. Why is it coming down this street? Like this bridge is going to rise and... Ah! Why is the ground going down? The bridge is lifting. Why did I park Percy on the end of the bridge? Oh, ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Ow! I think my rear pop of me fell off. Oh! Owie, owie, owie. Frank. Percy's still rolling. Oh, hey, come back. Uh, uh, 
I can't stop! My brake lever is stuck! No, no, what do we do? Nothing we can do. <gasps> Don't worry! Did she just go after Pearl? Ah! My arm! I need a nap. Ah. My crew was severely injured from the accident. Did my fireman really see Nicky go after me? Or was it all in his head because he was hallucinating from the injuries? Find out next time.